Good morning, I'm Jay Pierce, the owner of Pierce's Pit Barbecue. I want to begin by thanking you to, for giving me this opportunity to tell you a little bit of, of the story of Pierce's. Uh, we started the restaurant 37 years ago on October 15th. It was my mom, my dad, and myself, and uh, we were just flat broke when we opened the doors. We actually, my dad and I actually built the building and my mom mixed the cement to lay the blocks. And it was on rented property in the middle of a horse pasture about six miles outside of Colonial Williamsburg and looked like a fruit stand. I actually got teased in school because folks thought we were opening up a, a roadside fruit stand. And from that we've grown to what we are today. We started out cooking in the backyard on a very small pit my dad was cooking about 60 pounds a week. It was uh, one case of meat a week. And since customers were few and far in between, uh, my mom could kind of run back and forth in between the restaurant and the house, which was right next door, and uh, keep things under control until I got home in the afternoon. So I did my homework on a freezer, and the building was 16 by 18, I believe it was. So it was very, very small. We've gone through five additions since then and are in the process of adding on again now. Uh, it started out as a walk-up restaurant, walk-up drive-in type restaurant with potholes and uh, sliding window. And now we seat 104 people and employ 62 employees. We didn't um, have any excess money to spend for advertising or didn't really know, you know how to get people in here. So we started by, by naming it Pierce's, of course, and, and uh, we wanted to call it Pierce's Pit Barbecue. So we, Dad hired a guy to paint a sign for us here in town. and. Uh, I went with him to pick the sign up and when we got there I looked at it and I said, Dad, they misspelled pit. They put two T's in it. Well, the guy who painted the sign said, well, if you could have spelled it, you should have painted it yourself. Well, since we didn't have the, the $20 that we paid him to paint the sign, it stuck. And now it's become you know, part of our, our logo and it is part of Pierce's. So jokingly, the employees all say we're going to work at the pit today. And on some days it feels like it is the pits, but uh, that's how the two T's ended up in pit. We've been really fortunate to have a great staff. We have uh, 62 employees and almost half of them have been with us from 10 to 30 years. Our senior employee just retired at 31 years this past Christmas, so our employees truly are our family. Um, when we first started, we, we did everything in-house. In we made our own coleslaw, uh, chopped all the meat and so forth, which we still do, but we also made our sauce here then too. Uh, since then, as recent as last August, we've gone into the retail market. So as of now, we're in 137 grocery stores with our barbecue sauce. It's taken off uh, great, and I'm, I'm really excited about that. It's an all-natural product, no additives, no preservatives, and um, we just really have had a, a really good reception from it. One of the things that, that we've done that I'm really proud of um, and I'll try to, to cut the story a little short, but it started out by me buying a tank of gas for a kid in a uniform uh, last year. And it turns out his mom sent him a care package that had a bottle of barbecue sauce from Pierce's Barbecue in it. And I get an email from Sergeant Brown in Alicide, Iraq, and he said that they don't have a lot of free time, that the guys um, like to do cook-offs, that they enjoy cooking, and that's what they do in their spare time. And, did we think that we could send them a couple of cases of barbecue sauce for Thanksgiving? Well, of course we wanted to do it, but we had a hard time trying to find a way to get it to them. So we actually had to go through the governor's office to find out how to mail it to them. Well, they got the barbecue sauce and uh, I started getting these emails back from them and they sent me some great pictures of these guys on the back of tankers holding up bottles of Pierce's barbecue sauce. I was really, really proud to be able to do that and that led to some wonderful articles in newspapers and just everyday customers coming in and telling me what that meant to them that they had sons and daughters and relatives that were over there and, and weren't going to make it home for the holidays. So I feel like we did a little something to let them know how proud we were of them and I was really glad that I had that opportunity that day to run into that kid and you just never know when you do something nice for someone when it's going to turn around and turn into something really big. The customer base for us has been, it's interesting, we've, we've fed everyone from governors to Sandra Day O'Connor, so lots of politicians, uh, celebrities, Colin Farrell was here, uh, we just had dinner with Paula Dean uh, last week, and so we've, we've had a lot of fun doing that, but we also have those, those long-time customers that have been coming here since the 70s that still come in every day, and those are the folks that, that come by on a regular basis, we know who they are, um, sometimes we know to have their order ready when they walk in the door. 
Uh, so like our customers, we have really, really been blessed with just longtime friends. Uh, I have people ask me all the time why they think that we've been successful. And I, my, the only answer I can come up with um, is customer service and quality control. And I give credit, total credit to that actually, not only, um, not only myself, my mom and my dad, but to, mostly to our employees because they take a great deal of pride in our product um, in this day and age of everyone's in a hurry and f fast food service and cookie cutter formulas. I think that's why we have survived and, and that's also why I think that this would be a great story to tell on the Food Network because we, we truly are a dying breed. There are not very many of us left. You drive down the interstates and you see all these signs for chain restaurants and you kind of know what you're going to get before you get there and you know what it's going to taste like and that gives you a sense of security but sometimes for myself especially I like the surprise and every now and then you find a surprise on the side of the road and that's what Pierce's Barbecue is. We've had wonderful articles written about us and we won Reader's Choice Award for Southern Living for several years. I always have to laugh because they listed us in Wine Spectator and we don't even have a, a, a ABC license. We don't. It's a family style restaurant but they, they listed us as a must stop when visiting Williamsburg along with um, Bon Appetit, um, just numerous you know, wonderful things that have happened to us with free publicity and you know, free publicity is always the best. Um, you can sit around and talk about yourself all day long but when someone else is, is telling you that it's a good place and good product and that means so much more to, you know, at least to me it always does. So we really, we enjoy our job, enjoy what we do. Uh, we still try to keep everything at an affordable price and in this day and age with the way the economy is, a family of four can still come here and eat for $20. Our average price point is about $8 a person and on the weekends we'll serve 3,000 orders and have 3,000 transactions go through. It's a lot of people coming in and out. So from those days when it was just a walk up counter and mom could stay at the house and keep her eye out the window while, you know, to catch the customers as they came up to now we most times have a line out the front door. Things have, have really, really changed. Once again, I want to thank you for visiting with us today and allowing me to tell you some stories about the pit. Um, I could sit here and talk to you for hours and tell you things that have happened. Obviously, 37 years, we have a lot of, lot of stories to tell from little ladies climbing the fence and getting $75 tickets for parking on the side of the interstate and telling the officers that if she was going to pay $75 she sure as hell was going to eat her lunch uh, to helicopters pulling up in the parking lot and causing all kinds of commotion and actually some stories about the guys in the pit which they probably wouldn't want me to tell but I hope you're going to find it interesting enough that you want to come pay us a visit and spend some time with us. I think that we have a, a story here to tell and hopefully you'll find it interesting and I really appreciate this opportunity. Thanks a lot and I look forward to hearing from you soon.